Orth, uh, thank you very much. We just completed a full day with the uh, Kia. We drove the Soul EV and the new Sedona, which is uh, riding a new chapter for uh, Kia, uh, and also uh, the segment of the minivans, right? Because actually, it doesn't look like a minivan. Well, that's a, a good point. Uh, we we basically this is the last vehicle in our lineup that we haven't gone through a design transformation with. So finally got around to doing the uh, Sedona, redoing it. It's an all new vehicle from the ground up, and we had the benefit uh, of two things. Number one, knowing what all of the uh, new safety standards are and also having full benefit of the design trend to adopt uh, CUV type yeah. design cues. So we were able to incorporate some of those items into this uh, this new vehicle. So compared to other, uh, other vehicles in this segment, this is shorter, longer, wider? From a proportion standpoint, it's slightly shorter. Uh, the wheelbase is longer, so the first thing you'll notice when you look at the car is the front and rear overhangs are less from a proportion standpoint. And then it's also a little bit lower. And then um, the actual graphic, the uh, the glass design on the side of the car, it's a little bit narrower and the body's taller. So much more in line with the proportions of a uh, CUV. So first impression for especially uh, people who don't want to be seen in a minivan, that eliminates uh, a lot of that, right? Well, it really does. When we showed the vehicle for the first time at the New York Auto Show in April, we had a lot of people coming up with their mouths open like, oh my gosh, I would have never ever considered a minivan until I saw this one. I can't believe it. And and we heard a lot of people saying it doesn't even look like a minivan, which is why we're using the term MPV to try to emphasize the point that we're bringing something new and different to the segment, which we really think is going to change a lot of people's minds. For, from the driver's uh, uh, perspective, I mean, when you don't look back, you, you, you feel like you're like in a regular car almost, like a little bit higher, but all the amenities, like all the luxury almost levels. Absolutely, absolutely. One of the things we not only changed the exterior of the car, the, fr the front of the exterior of the car, car looks like a CUV. We have a much more prominent, uh, proud, and confident nose. But when you get inside the vehicle, we move the shift lever from the instrument panel down to a center console, which is unusual for the segment. Yeah. Nobody else does this. And we heard this from our customers loud and clear. They like the feeling of confidence of having that shifter next to them. A nice big wide console and the IP uh, has long horizontal sweep to it. So it feels very roomy, it feels modern, it feels uh, spacious, and also uh, because of that console, it feels more like uh, what you would expect in a, a crossover. And then if you start going that second row and then third row, I mean, a lot of changes and very you know, innovative Absolutely. ideas. Yes, we, uh, we, we also, one of the things that we found out in our research is people don't like taking the chairs out of the back of a minivan for cargo room. So we incorporated this new idea, we call it slide and stow, with one pull of a lever, the seat uh, cushion for the second row pops up, and you can move the entire seat up against the back of the first row. So they, it kind of gets up and out of the white way, why we call it slide and stow. And it converts from uh, passenger to full cargo in just a matter of seconds. And it's really, really a neat uh, innovation. And then one of the options for the seat configuration is the first class seating. <laughs> I, first I actually class tried lounge. it. Yeah, first class <laughs> lounge. Very, I really a, enjoyed it. I could have taken a nap there. Awesome feature. We, uh, You can put the second row seats back. This is for our top level model, the SXL. Uh, it has a, uh, a foot rest that comes out from underneath the seat. And then you can recline the seat all the way back, move the armrests, and it's almost like sitting in the lounge in a first-class airliner across it, it, the water. It certainly felt like it's that. It's really it's nice. It's really, really nice. So price-wise, how many versions? And uh, we have uh, a total of five different trim levels. Uh, we're going to start at twenty-five thousand nine hundred, and that doesn't include the DNH, the destination and handling. Uh, that's for our L grade, which is exactly the same as the current. Sedona that uh, is just now going out and then the top range is at 39,700 and that is uh, for our top of the line SXL so about a $15,000 range between the base and the top uh, divided up into five different categories. So a little bit for everybody to like pick whatever Absolutely. budget we, or like we uh, we anticipate that our most popular model which will be uh, the EX uh, will be about $32,000 and that'll have uh, three power doors uh, a nice leather interior um, uh, UVO system and also navigation and it, it, so from that standpoint uh, our most popular model will be very very well priced. Okay. So you said the Sedona completes the, the transformation of transformation. Kia that started with uh, the Soul right? We started in the spring of 2009 with a Soul we did our Forte, uh, our Sorento 
uh, the Optima. We went through the whole lineup, introduced two new cars, the Cadenza, the K900. Yeah. And now finally we've gotten around to redoing the Sedona, and it completes it. And <clears throat> there's a distinctive family look across the entire line of vehicles, which we're really proud of. So pretty nice a way to celebrate 20 years of GM in the United States. That's huh? exactly right, exactly right. So if you have a chance, make sure you stop by and check out the, the new Sedona. We're really excited about it. And then also the new Soul EV, of course, which is our other model. Excellent. And um, you're going to be really busy for the next 20 years. Right? That's exactly right. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> hopefully so. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Art, like always. I right. really enjoy the event All and right. the vehicles. I really appreciate you stopping by. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.